ChatGPT has brought out a new update which allows you to build your own ChatGPT by providing your own source data so that other people can actually access your build. I think the biggest opportunity for this is if you've got some kind of service-based business, then you can basically use build your own chatbot using ChatGPT by pre-training it with your data, whether it's previous conversations or some sort of knowledge base, and then allow customers to interact with that chatbot and preload it to actually recommend a book a call or take a next step. So in my case, I've already built an SEO Jesus SEO consultant, and I basically uploaded my book. I already have quite a good knowledge base on the basis that I'd created a 25,000 word ebook earlier this year, which got me best-selling status and sold very well. But at the time, it was when I was entirely targeted towards coaches and niche down, whereas now that I'm doing much more general SEO work, it doesn't seem so relevant anymore. However, it's a really good bank of all my SEO knowledge, and so I was able to simply upload it to ChatGPT, and therefore my own GPT is now based largely on that knowledge base. So if I say, how can I improve my website's SEO? You can see I've gone through a lot of pre-training with the model, and it's now searching my book, and now it's coming back with insights from that book. Now this isn't quite what I wanted because I wanted to be much more of a personal consultant and auditor. So now in the builder section, I'm going to say, always ask for a website so you can provide specific actionable advice. Now ironically, you actually use ChatGPT to build your GPT. So you basically need to very slowly coach ChatGPT through what you actually want to achieve and what you need to give it. Okay, once you provide an update here, it will then refresh the preview. So let's try again. How can I improve my website's SEO? Okay, great, so it's now asking for a website. So if I put in seojesus.com, and as of the recent updates, ChatGPT now does have access to the web. So this has unlocked a lot more possibilities. Okay, let's get on a bit, let's stop that. Now, unfortunately, I've hit my ChatGPT for usage, having been doing a lot of testing over the last hour or so. Hopefully that will improve over time as GPT-4 gets more and more developed and those usage caps lift. Okay, my credits are back and in the meantime I've actually found a much better way of using the tool because I was finding the output quality from my book seemed a bit scarce. It didn't seem like it was actually reading the book. It was just giving a sort of surface level synopsis. So we use the builder here, but actually the real magic is in configure. And you can actually build your entire chatbot just in this instruction section. But obviously, you don't know what you need to put in yet, so actually you can iterate much easier just by talking to ChatGPT here, and that will then decide the input here. And you can also play around with the conversation starters depending on what action you want your user to take. My book is there, but I didn't realize until just now that we have a setting here that says code interpreter, and by default it's unticked, and if you hover over the information button, it basically says if you provide any files or anything like that, then that needs to be ticked in order for it to explore. So now that I've done that, the output quality seems much better. So let's go with analyze seojesus.com. Now the next steps will with this will be you can actually integrate APIs. So I'd actually love to get some actual data from Ahrefs, SEMrush, something like that, maybe even Surfer, and these will have APIs. So as a next step, I'd be intrigued to actually work out how to hook up to those APIs with this so that not only can the um, GPT crawl the internet and look at the page, but it can actually get actual data in terms of the backlinks, the search volumes, things like that from Ahrefs. So yeah, currently this is not actually visiting the website. So sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. That's probably a human error on my part. But another little case study that wasn't as complex and was a little more successful is a free online tarot reading. Now this is a very high volume search term and what you'll find with these public links is they are actually indexed by Google. So if you're stuck for inspiration in terms of what to actually build, if you go to site colon chats.openai.com slash g and then you can search all the public G GPTs that people have built and published. So we're only seeing 5,000 results so far, so that's interesting. It's only been a few days, but yeah, not that many. So we've got Logo Maker, Luxury Authenticator, expert on all AI topics with AI database access. So there's two things you can do with this, basically. One is you can potentially actually rank your uh, bot. It's a bit challenging because if you're not logged in, you actually get a very basic 
page. So there's not actually much content on there. So if we do a new incognito window and have a look at this one, this is all you get. So it's on a powerful website. Obviously, OpenAI has got a huge DR and you can do a lot of off-page to actually try and rank that. But there's not much text here. So I think it's quite limited in terms of its parasite potential so far. I did have a go, but you're only allowed 300 characters here. So it's quite limited that way. But overall, it does seem like the real secret to building a successful uh, GPT is keeping it simple and go for a variety of different tools rather than one tool that's supposed to do everything. It's not actually that much of a game changer. All you're really doing is tailoring ChatGPT in a way that you can do yourself. But remember that your audience might actually not have that capability. So in my case, I'm always talking about ChatGPT prompts where you can pre-train it with certain formulas, uh, certain requirements, things like that. And so for someone else to actually reproduce that, they've got to go through all this pre-prompting as well, such as with my content writing ChatGPT SOP. Whereas if you can simply pre-program all that, all those requirements into GPT and share that, then that's much easier for people. And of course, you can connect it to databases, things like that. So I'd stick with small and simple tools. So that's what I've done with my online tarot reading. So we can have a go here. Interested in a tarot reading? I've tried to lock it down so that it first asks you for your name. And that way we can create a really personalized reading. So now it says, please tell me your name. So my goal was this, was to basically provide a good experience up front, but then try and upsell them to go and book a tarot reading uh, with a company. Let's see, what do I want to focus on? Future of SEO, <laughs> an intriguing topic. The Wheel of Fortune. Now, just a few months ago, I was in Mexico and trying to build a chatbot based on ChatGPT, where basically I would pre-train it uh, as a tarot reading and say, you're an astrological expert. Whatever someone inputs into this chat, please connect to OpenAI and as an astrology expert, respond with an answer. And it still didn't quite work, so I can't code. But even then, I was able to get pretty far in terms of building the chatbot using ChatGPT and connecting it to OpenAI. But this just bypasses all of that. Suddenly, you don't need to basically build a third party to connect to OpenAI. You can just build whatever you want within ChatGPT. So this is exactly what we wanted. So it's given me a good answer and adaptability, opportunities and challenges, unexpected twists. This is all based on the Wheel of Fortune. And then it says you can find experts through this affiliate link who specialize in SEO and can offer personalized advice. Now, this is my affiliate link to a tarot website where I can get a really good affiliate commission. So again, nothing game changing, but it just shows we can think outside the box a bit, depending on what your business is, provide a little bit of value on the front end. I do want to build my SEO Jesus uh, GPT to be a much more sort of personalized consultant so that anyone who does have fairly simple questions, they can just talk to the bot and then if they do want to take that further, then they can book a call with me personally. And I say some potential there for actually ranking your GPT on Google. So if you search for the kinds of tools people are looking for, this one, AI Today, that's ranking for some keywords, getting four site traffic. So that's something. But crucially, you can actually put in your industry and get some ideas of the kinds of tools that you can build. So let's try plumber. Nope, no plumbing tools yet. Uh, mortgage. AI mortgage expert assistant. Okay, there we go. So yeah, again, this is just based on knowledge, which isn't that difficult to pre-train. I think the next step would be uh, if this brand has any databases in terms of their actual offers, in terms of if they can aggregate all that data, and then you can simply ask it, what's the mortgage rate you could expect with your credit history, something like that. Could I connect my Experian report and therefore get advice that way? Something like that.